I was in the home of a woman with my team and we were sharing the gospel with her and she had a very common belief that many people in the world have. In fact, I would say it's the most commonly held religious belief in all the world and that is this, that you work your way to heaven. You try to do more good things than bad. I was gonna read her a verse from the Bible, but before I did, I said, do you have a family Bible? I'm glad I did because she went and got the Bible that her mother had given to her. And I turned to Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. And I read, but before I did, I noticed it had been strongly underlined by her mom. So then I read the passage. It says, For by grace are you saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's a gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. You see, that's what we would do. We would boast. I said, what do you think your mom's trying to say to you by underlining this so strongly? You see, we need to take a deep breath and let this idea sink in. You see, if you know Jesus as your savior, it's still possible that you're trying to win his approval and to work your way into heaven, to be a co-savior in a way. Glory be to us. Here's a question. If you were a better Christian, would you deserve heaven anymore? And the answer is simple and plain, no. So rest. Rest in the fact that God has stepped down in human form to do the work that you could never do. He took your burdens and he carried them to the cross. Joyce Meyer wrote an article about entering into God's rest. She said, when we try to do everything in our own strength and leave God out of the equation, we just get worn out and frustrated by our mistakes and failures. But when we learn to lean on God, we actually enter into his rest. As we approach summer and vacation time, I'd encourage you to think about how you can rest physically and spiritually. Take time to get away from your everyday life, even if it's just a walk over lunch or into your neighborhood. You see, changing your scenery will leave you recharged and will help you renew your focus. Take that rest and then direct your focus to the Lord. How can we better serve him, not to earn our way to heaven, but to please him with our lives? It surely would be telling others, perhaps more than you do now, how he loves them and how he extends grace to sinners just like us. The Lord doesn't want us to be like Martha, who even though she was serving the Lord very diligently, she didn't take time to simply sit in his presence and learn. You see, people who've been in the presence of the Lord are people who can then make a great difference for his kingdom. So come and rest so that you can carry the gospel further. This is our focus this week in Evangelism Explosion through our social media channels and our daily broadcast. We'll be learning the importance of resting in the Lord. May God richly bless you this week as you learn to rest in his faithfulness.